it is Abe Nikki being on the scene and welcome back to my channel. It feels like forever but really I've just been trying to focus on this scheduling because before I was posting every day but now it's just every other day but I don't know it just feels like it's been a long time since I've been on the scene. I am here today and if you are new please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another beat with me. Every week I'm coming out with new content so please just stay tuned for that and even if you don't feel like you want to subscribe it's okay. Why calling someone an Oreo specifically? specifically a black person is very offensive and it's offensive because one every black person is different no one is the same we all come from different backgrounds we all have different personalities you know different interests we all are different we're not just some monolithic group no we don't move in the same way we don't talk the same we don't behave the same we are just different just like anybody else and i know at some point when you was growing up or maybe you knew somebody else where people would say like oh they're an oreo or you're acting white or you sound white all those things it just really just defeats the whole idea of black people being diverse and versatile let me give you guys like a concrete definition of what i mean by an oreo an oreo is a person who speaks proper english you know who behaves a certain way or in other words who goes against the pre-assigned stereotypes that society has placed upon black people you know maybe someone who's looking at me or is listening to the way i sound how i present myself they might call me an oreo but i'm not but you get what i'm saying so if you are familiar with that you know if you have witnessed that or experienced that that's what an oreo is and i swear to you i hate it i hate it a lot because like i said it defeats the idea that black people can be diverse it groups all of us into this one stereotype that we all have to listen to the same music that we all have to agree with the same things and it's like no we're not like that and it just makes it seem like that black people have to act a certain way in order to be black and it's like no i'm black there's nothing about me that's going to change what, what else do you want me to do why do i have to prove something like that why should i be called an oreo because i don't sound like these other people who are from that area and that's why i hate the phrase so much because it just opens up an avenue to you know people not seeing us as different and then on top of that a lot of people equate talking properly and behaving a certain way to whiteness we need to stop doing that anybody speak properly there's no specific tie to acting this way or acting that way but my overall problem with the oreo complex is that people a lot of times equate that to just being white white is not the overall the default for everything there is no default for anything whiteness should not be the default we should not look up to whiteness as if that's somehow the, you know that's how we should model after or whiteness is the model so you know anybody who acts outside of what they're supposed to act like they're automatically acting white no let's keep that away let's tone it down and i usually heard the term oreo used by like other like black kids and you know i heard it a lot during like my high school experience even sometimes during middle school but mainly in high school and i've seen it said to others and i've had it said to me and honestly it just made me feel like I wasn't black enough like they would make you feel like well because you sound that way then it's like you're not black and it's like we need to stop with that whole ignorant idea as if we're all supposed to sound a certain way and what people didn't understand is that I was a part of theater so of course a good portion of my time was learning how to talk that's theater so we did a lot of speech exercises, we did a lot of monologues, I was in plays, like I was training to sound like this. And even today, I don't think that my speech is all the way there where I want it to be. But for the most part, I know I did not sound average. So I just had a different sound. But people would hear that and be like, oh, you're trying to act white or you're an Oreo. I am very well black, okay? You see this? Okay. It just really just irks my soul because it's like, okay, what do you accomplish by calling someone an Oreo? Because at the end of the day, they're not going to get treated better because of being an Oreo. And I also feel like the people who do say it to others also feel threatened by a black person. You know, not only just how they sound, but their intelligence. People don't like to see successful black people. 
that's something that I've noticed a lot throughout like social media and even as it's portrayed on TV something is threatened inside them so they feel like they have to do something to bring that person down and I feel like you know being called an Oreo is like a reflection of that that concludes my whole thoughts on the Oreo complex and basically why no one should be saying it if anything people need to stop saying it because it's not a compliment it's not funny and it doesn't help anybody you're low-key grouping us as this one thing as if we all supposed to act a certain way yeah so now i am concluding the video so thank you all for watching i'll be back again with another video and you know that next video about to be the birthday vlog i mean vlog i said vlog i ain't writing nothing and it's gonna be really fun so i hope you guys really enjoy it and also i'm at 250 something subs so please let's get to 300 and hopefully by the end of the year we could get to 1000 subs I'm gonna do a nice little giveaway because I've been thinking about that. I'm like, I'm gonna give something away because I wanna give back to those who are watching me and I'm always gonna be about giving back. Let's keep working.